And um, with reference to usually why people approach you, I know that we kind of touched upon that in the start, but you obviously want to give me some context about what coaching is. Uh, but what are some common topics that people kind of approach you for? Um, doing better in their careers, managing, you know, relationships at work, um, managing relationships just in general with, with their friends, with their parents, with work colleagues, um, low self-esteem. So I just am not good enough. I, you know, I don't know why I've, I've studied all this stuff. I'm, I'm like, I know it all and, and I don't seem to be successful enough. Mm. Um, you know, so it's really subjects like that where uh, people are unhappy about the situation they're in. They want to change that situation. They want to be happier, whatever happy means for them. Um, sometimes it's about just a, no clarity on what their priorities are. Um, right. So I do like a visioning exercise mm. with them somewhere in, in, in the course of the sort of conversation, which, okay, 30 years from now, let's, where are you? Let's, let's just play out the whole thing. That's a super important and conversation. A lot of around. people, a lot of people then start to get clarity around where do they want to be 30 years from yeah. now. When I'm 60, this is where I'll be and, uh, you know, whatever that situation is and this is how, and so what will people be saying about you? Yeah. What do they like about you? Yeah. Uh, what do they admire about you? Um, how do you, they see you develop as a person? How do they feel you are in your career? Yeah. yeah. And some people walk away from that with complete clarity. They know the house they're going to live in, what it looks like, what the roof is, who's around, who are the people who really matter in their lives. Um, and then when, when you've done that visioning, you can show the person what the long-term journey is. Yeah. And then you can keep referring to it saying, you remember, this is where you thought you'd be 30 years from now. What do you think you need to do in the next one year to start that journey? Right. And they start to get that clarity around where they want to go. Yeah, I think that's so important. I think that's I, when you said you do that visioning and goal setting exercise, I was, I was thinking to myself, that is so important for anyone to have. I think just that one conversation can especially sort you out if, uh, you know, if someone's confused, which a lot of people are, you know, in their early 20s, mid 20s, uh, yeah. when they're just starting out, like what they'd want, you know, how they want to kind of structure their career. Because no one really teaches that in college. No one, like it's very, like you mentioned earlier in no. the conversation, there's very hard, like it's very hard to get examples of that in your own community. Supposing if, yeah. if someone wants to be a photographer and there's no photographer around you, it's very hard to actually approach someone and have a conversation with them unless that's part of your goal. But it's never going to be part yeah. of your goal if there's no example around you. So it's you're in a weird catch-22 kind yeah. of situation. And having um, um, also for a lot of people, uh, it's I don't know what I want. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm just stuck. I I I I don't know what I want. I'm not happy. Yeah, and I don't know what I want. Yeah. Um. So that's a little bit about you know uncovering them and figuring out until you take, start to understand what is it that they really want. Yeah. Uh, and then you start to help them map the journey and, okay, if this is what you really want. How are you going to go about it? What do you yeah. need to do? Who do you need to be 